Hey guys, <clears throat> so today I'm going to try something a little different for me. I got this embellishment kit. I believe it's called Indigo and Ivy is the paper collection. And to be honest with you, I don't recall now where I got it. Like, I think I might've got it in a kit, but I, I don't recall. And so I don't have the paper collection that goes with this. And so it's really pretty. I've kind of had it set aside thinking I need to use it. I need to use it, but I'm like, I don't have the papers. So I've been um, honestly seeing a bunch of YouTube folks who say, oh, okay, you gotta build, the, build your own kits. And I've not really done that. I usually work with collections. Um, it's just easier for me. I don't know. I guess I just don't have to use too much brain power. So um, I decided I'm going to jump out there and try to make my own paper kit. I haven't really grabbed any other embellishments at this point. Um, I may stop this and then come back with uh, more pictures with video or whatever showing the embellishments I pick out other than these. I mean, obviously there's lots of these, um, but it's all die cut. So I might find something else. But here's what I found from my stash to go with this set of die cuts. Um, I found this paper that kind of goes with this brown here. It is an, actually an old Reminisce Christmas paper. I'll be using it for this side. I'm gonna scooch this down so I can lay the papers out here, but I kind of wanted you to see the colors when I'm showing the papers so you can see how they kind of go together. And I need to stop saying kinda. That's one of my pet peeves that I'm doing here that I need to stop doing. Okay, uh, the next paper is another piece of paper from that same Christmas pack from Reminisce. And y'all, I don't even know how old these are. I thought maybe the date would be on here, but I guarantee you they're very thin. So I'm certain they've been in my stash for quite some time. And so there's that, and that is it's not quite this grayish, but it's kind of. And so I thought that went pretty well. And then I went looking for like a pink. And this may be a tad pinkier than this, but I think it's close enough that I can use it. I think if I cut it and, you know, have these kind of not exactly touching, they'll be all right. So there's those three there. And I used this card, honestly, to help me kind of find some papers. I, I was over with my paper stash there looking through using this as my little helper card. The next paper is more along the lines of this color here. I think it looks like it. And this is a Teresa Collins from Sweet Afternoon. It is from 2012. So y'all, this is, well, now that we're in 2020, I guess it's eight years old. So that's 2012 Teresa Collins. Then I really wanted some navy, and I went through and I found Lush. I guess it's from Lush. It was the name of the, oh no, my mind's eye. Sorry, my mind's eye. Uh, this is from 2011, y'all. I have a stash of a really old stuff here. I'm sure most of you do if you've been scrapbooking for any length of time. Isn't that pretty? All right. And then of course there's these greens, all these pretty greens. And so I went looking for a green and I'm pretty pleased. It's not obviously an exact match, but it's in that same tone. And this is from my mind's eye as well, from Très Jolie. I am not French, I'm Texan. So I've got French with a Texan accent, Très Jolie. <laughs> I'm terrible y'all. And then lastly, I, I I wanted to bring, I honestly wanted to pull in this really pretty lavender. I had nothing anywhere close to that shade that looked right at all. It, it just, nothing looked right. Everything I have is way too purpley. It's not really soft enough. So I had to stay away from that. So I went with this gray and it's because, you know, we kind of have this beautifuls and a little bit of a gray. There's gray. Uh, in this heart, you know, there's kind of these cool colors here. So I was pretty pleased with this. So that is my paper collection.
that I'm going to use with this set. So I'm going to dig around and see if I can find any other little goodies and I will come back. Okay, so I'm back. Um, went digging. And honestly, because there were so many die cuts, I started to pull things out and I thought, I don't need another flat thing because um, there's just so much to choose from. So, But I did pull out some stuff. So the first thing I pulled out was um, some of these little pearls or whatever you want to call these. I guess they're half pearls. I'll pull these out first. They're green. They may look cute. This, um, These are graphic 45 and they're silver and gold. I think the gold is what kind of struck me. But honestly, I could see other layouts where maybe I'm not using gold um, die cut. Maybe I'll use, you know, something like this and, and the silver may go better. So I've got those two. Most likely not the black. Um, I found this. I have no idea. I have got, this is so old. But it was in my stash. Oops, stickers on my hand. Um, I found these. This actually came from Little Kits at Tuesday Morning. Um, I don't know. They seem like they were party favor type deals. Uh, of course, obviously they're not sticky, so I'd have to, I use I use adhesive. But my thinking was the um, possibly these greens because they kind of go with uh, you know like this kind of stuff, and then the navy, and then maybe these little white ones, not these limey green yellowy ones, not those. Um, I found these little paper clips. That's the only thing I have found that's even close to this lavenderish color. So those might be useful. Um, I did find some old bow bunny. It was on a whole sheet, so I just cut it up. It's little small letters. As you can see, I've used most of the alphabet, so I don't know if I'll find something for that, but they kind of went. And then I dug a little bit on some sticker sheets. I pulled this off because I wasn't certain about this shade, but I go, yeah, that looks okay with that. Um, it's on a jelly bean soup letter sheet here cardstock stickers obviously none of the rest of this would work but the letters may work and then um navy letters from here i think will be good tiny it's down by the shore by fancy pants i had actually three sheets of these which has come in handy because i've used these several times i like these little small letters um so i think that's what i'm going to start with and um, I got to find some pictures now. Talk to you soon. Okay, so I've gone ahead and cut my papers here. I did not record that because frankly, my download speed sucks and the longer the video, the <laughs> longer it takes to download. So I'm probably gonna do this in little pieces and then squish them together with the editing software. So. Anyway, so I got the, um, going back to my little card here. What did I do with it? Well, my goodness. What did I do with it? Y'all, I would lose my head if it weren't glued on. Oh, here it is. Anyway, so you can see I've got the cozy, and then I have calm, and then kind of a in-between calm here. I have the green I showed you. And then I cut some photo mats. I do still need to trim the navy down. I gutted it out of my big sheet because I think I may want to use that for something else. Um, but the idea, I'm going to scrap this photo of my daughter when she was, well, this has got to be summertime. So she was probably three or four months old here. I don't know. I probably have the date written in the book somewhere. But I know it's her first year because obviously she's T90. And my mother-in-law, um, her Nana, who has since passed away, we were in the backyard of my husband's grandfather. So I'll kind of, you know, put that little story. It was just a random visit. She was small and I believe it was the first one time she'd gone down there. So I thought these sunglasses were just precious. Anyway, I'm going to mat that photograph on gray. And I think we're about to get a visitor, so I'm probably going to have to shut this off anyway because my cat is nosy. I don't want this big of a mat, so I will trim that. And then I also want to add, I think, another little shelf or something down here. So I will do that little bit, and I will come back and show you where I'm at. 
Um, probably start poking some embellishments down, but not glue them down at this point because I don't know exactly where I want them until I start poking them around. And I still need to figure out a title. I want to include one of the words. I, I kind of want to use this card here, um, kind of opposite the green. So I don't know. I may have to figure out um, if there's going to be something added to that. I mean, there's this cute love here, but that doesn't, you know, I don't know. I like this. I may need to add a little something to it. I don't know. Anyways, um, let me come back in a moment after. I, oh, and I think also I'm going to ink the edges of this paper because I do have some slight distressing here. And so I'm going to use my vintage photograph distress oxide. I don't ever use the water part to it, but this is a pretty color. So I will ink the edges of my paper. I will glue them down. I will trim my photo mat. I'll start kind of laying the embellishments around and see, show you where I'm at. I need to figure out a title too. Okay. Okay. So I have inked all the edges of my paper. I've glued the base page down. Oh, and apologies. We do have a visitor. Um, my cat Saturn has decided to join us and frankly, I'm not in the mood to argue with her. So she's staying for the moment. <laughs> Anyways, um, so glued all the papers down. The embellishments in the photo is not yet glued down, but I'm pretty sure this is where, well, this is gonna actually go up here. And I'm gonna, I think it was something like this. I think I'm gonna do something like this. So I'm going to start gluing down my pieces down here. And this, this little guy is so old. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna use some art glue. So I think I'm gonna glue down these hearts first. So as I mentioned, this photograph is of my daughter and her Nana. And Brooke could do no wrong in her Nana's eyes. Like literally the child could probably have, I don't want to use the word murdered somebody because probably not that bad, but she could literally get away with just about anything, and Nana did not care. Um, of course, Brooke was pretty well behaved, but her Nana loved her. I think, honestly, my mother-in-law would have loved having a little girl, and she uh, she liked to dress her and take her shopping, and Brooke was not much of a shopper, if I'm honest. <laughs> she just wasn't, but she was so pretty, and she loved to dress her and hold her and all those good things, so. All right, so um, actually, I've done a pretty good job using most of my little goodies. There's a handful of, I mean, there's the bigger ones. I, I contemplated these frames, but I just could not make them work here. Like something up here maybe, but it just didn't, it didn't fit right. Like I didn't like how it looked. So those didn't get used. This I did not use because this is very white. The stuff around it. I thought about tucking it in, but it was just really white, so that didn't get used. This blue is just, it's just so blue. Like, these go together. I mean, and technically, you know, like it goes in with this, but this layout, excuse me, this layout, I just didn't think it went. So they went off to the side. I thought about love but I really just didn't find a place that I, I kind of thought maybe up here, but again, this is so white. There is some white here, but I don't know. I'll think about that maybe some more, but this is just um, too big. Like I didn't really, again, more white. I think I'm gonna end up making another layout with a little more white to it. This checklist is pretty, but doesn't really go with what we're talking about. Um, I could add good times here, but there's just, I don't know. It doesn't really go. Thought about the butterfly, but I have some of these going on and I still need to add my dots. Today doesn't, there was so much green right here. I really didn't want the green there and it doesn't really make any sense down here. Of course, this has been my mood board kind of um, and dream doesn't really fit. And again, the butterfly and the best. The pink, I really, I thought about trying to use the pink paper. 
I just couldn't make it work with this layout. I, I did not care for the way it was laying together. So that's what I haven't used yet. I will have to figure that stuff out. And I do still have some of these stickers, but I don't think these really match. Maybe they do. This one maybe, but the pink is not included, so I'm not thinking about that one. BFF doesn't really make sense. Um, don't know. This might come in up here maybe or something. I'll have to think about that a little more as I do the little bits. So I'm going to glue these down. Oh, I think I'm going to add the year because this was 1998. And I think I will add the year with these little letters somewhere down here. So I will glue these things down now because they're not glued. <laughs> I'm sure I'm going to mess them up and I will come back. Okay, you guys. So this last little bit here I'm going to do as a voiceover because my daughter came upstairs while I was doing this little part here and ch wanted to chat and I didn't have the heart to turn her away. Um, because she was heading back to school like the next day or so. So um, you can see that I have laid, I've actually glued all of the embellishments down, excepting the little navy blue hearts there. I'm looking at that gray piece with the little jewel in the middle, and I notice that it's silver. Um, so I'm contemplating just a bit on those um, half pearl dot things from Graphic 45. Do I want to use silver? Do I want to go use gold? But in the upper right corner, I had used that gold foil heart. So I go ahead and decide I am going to use the gold hoop on it. Um, I think uh, she's crafty YouTube there. She says uh, she's the boss of the layout and she can do what she wants. So that's what I'm doing. I'm the boss of the layout. So I'm laying down these gold um, half pearl dot things. And, of course, I'm creating my little visual triangle with the little clusters in each um, spot there. And I'm liking how this is going. Oh, and by the way, you notice my cat is still uh, supervising the layout. Um, in a moment, you're going to see me do something that looks really violent on screen. I promise you, this is sped up about three times. It was very gentle. It was a very, very gentle thing. Um, anyway, so I've got the glue parts down. I did decide I want to do some mist on there, so I had to run off and go get my Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist. And I get this gold up oh, see there it is she was trying to lick the glitter mist glimmer mist rather and um, it looked like I just smacked her in the face and honestly I didn't I took my hand and kind of gently pushed her away but sped up it looks pretty violent um, I put down the, a sprinkle there a little splatter bits or whatever and I decided no it's not quite enough so I come back and I add just a little bit more to be honest I'm not certain what color that is it's these are so old and I know I had two bottles the other thing I cut out of here is I had two bottles and I they were three quarters gone both of them so I combined them into one bottle Okay, so there I've got my splatter bits. I've got all my little dots. Um, looking at my little embellishments. I'm actually pretty proud of that. I used all those embellishments I mentioned earlier. And um, this is looking pretty good. I'm, I'm loving the little thought there. So I need to add my journaling. Uh, because, you know, obviously I told you guys on the video where they were and all that. But <clears throat> I need to add some things here. And I do want to kind of speak to the point that her Nana loved her and thought she could do no wrong and so I'm going to speak to this um, affection that Brooke's Nana had for her honestly she's so cute in that picture of the little sunglasses who can't love her right um, of course now she's 21 years old and she still looks cute in sunglasses though I can't can't I can't lie so I'm finishing up I did use a brown pen uh, marker rather I thought that looked a little better um, I had pencil lines the journaling lines and then I thought oh, I need to add something so I'm going to go ahead and, or I really wanted them to show. So I came back with the brown marker and I'm going to add the, the lines. I really struggle with that plastic ruler there. I'm so silly. And unfortunately, you'll notice, well, maybe you don't, but here I go off a little bit. So it goes right in my word. Oh, well, it is what it is. These are handmade crafts, right? All right. So I'm done with the journaling and that's my layout, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.